you got David Blaine, then you then you got Chris Angel. Uh, we 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 go on the Chris Angel show. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and so we watching this horrible illusion, and 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 people are so caught up in this bad trick that they're not looking at the strings in the mirrors. Like I believe that something bigger is happening, and it's and and, and it's going to drop on us, and we're not going to be prepared for that. So so I'm not being distracted by all this shit because it's bad and it looks fucked up and it's crazy and a pandemic and you know, all this misinformation, but I still feel like there's something bigger happening. So I'm looking for that. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as my family and my peoples and all that stuff, like I fear for our people because yeah. you know, we're unorganized. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. That's what I, that's what I'm looking at. It's like uh, us as black and brown people, uh, people that don't co control the finances of this country. Like we're, we're, we're basically out in the cold. So, you know, if we don't organize ourselves, if we don't come up with a plan, if we don't look at these things and discuss amongst ourselves, um, uh, I think we're going to have a rough ride for the next few years. Yeah. That, that brings to mind, um, ice cube. Um, and he, the other day, I don't know if you've seen it. He's pretty much being the man stepping up and saying, look, man, I got a plan. I want people to get behind me. I'm going to talk reparations. I'm going to talk about redistribution of wealth in mm -hmm. the United States of America. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but what do you feel about Ice Cube, you know, being very vocal and taking backlash for being vocal? Uh, Ice Cube has been Ice Cube for a very long time. Uh, the, the man who wrote Fuck the Police mm -hmm. um, is still the man that we see today. So um, Brother Cube is is always been vocal about social issues. Um, he's always been vocal about racial uh, inequalities, and he's always been vocal and had a firm stance on how he feels about that. So I think that people that are trying to, you know, say something that, about Q right now, you know, have, have missed the boat. You know, um, he's been like that for a long time, and I stand squarely behind him. You know, the anti-Semitic conversation has been very loud as of late. You've seen Q be accused of it to Sean Jackson out in Philly, Nick Cannon. And a lot of it's been stared around them bringing up the conversation of the original children of Israel. And that seems to be a very touchy conversation. And I'm not trying to get mm -hmm. too trouble. You happy to be the next brother that's giving anti-Semitic rhetoric. But what are your thoughts on that? Um, look, look, like I said, um, you know, the argument and the conversation is always going to be uncomfortable uh, when it comes to race. Um, so when you having a conversation, especially about something like this, it's, it's imperative that both sides uh, don't come to the table with accusations, but w with, with more listening than talking. Right. right. And so that's not happening. Um, I think, you know, case in point is you, you take the statement Black Lives Matter, right? Not the organization, just the statement. And then from across the table comes all lives matter. So, um, you know, if somebody's house is on fire, you don't say, you know, all houses matter. Motherfucker, my house is on fire. Right. Yeah, yeah, all houses matter, but this one's on fire. So let's put this motherfucker out first. And then we can talk about other things. So it's it's like people don't want to have a conversation about difficult things. Um, because if that was the case, then we would be a lot further than we are right now. It seems like this is just not getting better. There's no movement on any side. And no one seems to want to understand each other. Now, I, I, I'm just painting with a broad brush because there are tons of people that are out there um, supporting what's happening um, that are not black, that are not brown. Um, there are tons of people that don't want this to happen, that, you know, are being very vocal. And it seems as though that the more that, you know, things start to move in that direction, in a positive direction, the more negative gets vocal and, and, and blatant with, with the racism that, that we experience. So, you know, I, I, I think this could, I think it's going to be like a come, a, a come to Jesus moment for everybody. Um, when, when it comes to, you know, when race doesn't matter, uh, cause I think that the people that are supporting, you know, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the racist, uh, rhetoric that's coming from the top, you know, of the government all the way down to the bottom 
are going to have a real surprise when they find out that it's not about race. This is about finance. You know, this is about money. Wait till they find out that they that the rich white people call poor white people niggas too. You know what I'm saying? Wait till they get a, a load of that. But they haven't hit that yet because they think that their skin, it, it, their skin tone is 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 a saving grace, or that that they're in the good old boys club. It don't work that way. So we, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out in the next few years because the economic side of what's, what we're experiencing right now hasn't hit home yet. We're yeah. talking about people who live check to check. Um, we're talking about people who don't have tons of money saved in the bank. Yes, and, and and these government checks that are coming out are not enough to, you know, subsidize what they're spending for their overhead for their family. Yeah. So so now, you know, w- when they come out of this thing and, and, and everybody's high and dry and businesses that we've seen close never open again, we're going to see really you know, when you got to go to your neighbor's house that you've been calling a nigger for fucking just 17 years and you need some fucking water or you need some food. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see how we're going to see how many uh, motherfuckers talk about all lives matter at that point. Dope, dope. Yeah. So with that being said, um, whose side do you stand on? Trump, Biden, neither. What's your thoughts on that whole uh, dynamic? Uh, I don't fuck with religion or politics. That shit's mm-hmm. fine. That's why I do games. I- I stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <clears throat> so, do you vote? You hear no. Uh, I, I, I voted. I voted. I voted during the, the, uh, for the Obama administration. Um, I thought that was that was a great time for me to you know actually get involved. Uh, but other than that, I, I you know I, I I I don't I don't have a, I don't have a horse in the race. What's that on your hat? Oh, oh man, that's the Napalm logo. Oh, okay, that's dope. Yeah. That's yeah. Your <laughs> yeah. El Fuego. I like that. Yeah, man. That's dope. So let's talk, let's talk about um the pit my ride, if you may. What yeah. happened with that whole thing? I heard you talking about that it kind of interfered with your rap career a little bit. Can you give us the ones and twos on what happened with Pit My Ride? Exhibit in the building. Man, we having a good time on this motherfucking show today, man. Yeah. Exhibit. Yes, sir. Bringing the energy real dope. Yes, sir. Definitely, man. Hit that five star rating. I know it's people that can watch this on YouTube. It's bright up in here, man. Hell yeah. Got these lights going, man. We got another surprise for y'all in a couple of days, man. It's about to get real great in here, but we definitely appreciate each and every listener Hell to yeah. this podcast today, man. About to turn this shit up on you, motherfuckers, man. Enjoying the day, enjoying the interview. Hopefully, everybody's out there enjoying their day, man. Hit that like button, hit that five star rating. Wherever you may be watching or listening, man. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir, man. That's what we need you to do. Leave a comment below. Let us know how much you rock out with the podcast. We'll be going back to a live show for our audience real, real soon, man. Just give us a little bit. We want to give you that experience. We want to make sure everything is right. So I'm bringing it back in. Yeah, man. Real quick. Dope. There you go. All right, we good. So I was asking about um Pit My Ride. Yeah. What, what exactly happened um with that? Like why it ended. And um, possibly a reboot. 